to get back in the mix with two young guys who basically remind me of me when I was starting out, it, it was it was fun. Yeah, nice to finally meet you in oh, person. Yeah, definitely. Dude. I went in there to help them with this one project, but I actually, once I got in there, I liked these guys so much, I wanted to help them with their entire portfolio. We were looking for somebody to help uh, come on and teach us more about you know, how to better cash flow management. And we just felt it was a better opportunity to move this project along faster, get it on the market, get it done, as opposed to going to our previous financing and, and upping the budget. I brought my team in to do a full-on audit of their financial statements to help them to paint the picture of where they really stood. Not just because of that, but also for financing. In order to get good financing, to get good interest rates, and to have multiple banks bidding for your business, you've got to have a good set of financial statements. Previously on this project, we had about $112,000, $113,000 uh, on, on our loan between the purchase as well as some of the early upgrades that we had made for termite damage and demoing. Uh, some of the backyards. Oh wow, I yeah. did. That, yeah. that header is full of termites. Yeah. Right. One of the, the things that you run into uh, an issue in these old houses is you don't know what's behind the walls. As we started ripping it apart, we started to see some major termite damage that we necessarily didn't budget for uh, on the front end. What they were asking me for as far as the loan on this property was easy. I, I knew quickly that we could renovate this property if we kept it under budget even with the overruns from the termites that they did not budget for, I knew that there was enough cushion in there to still make a hundred and fifty to one hundred and eighty thousand dollar profit. The good news is that they took my advice, they let me come in and audit their books, and so at the end of the day, it started out as this one flip, but it ended up being their whole real estate portfolio. I truly believe that just like me when I was starting out and I had my mentor who was my banker, hopefully they feel the same way that I'm the guy that came in and gave them that bit of advice early on in their career that allowed them to go to the next level. Sydney is always willing to put his, his, his money where his mouth is. He has a really keen eye uh, for development, really keen eye for design, which I think you know we kind of have some parallels on, but he's somebody that understands how to flip properties because he, he did it. Hey CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you'll find videos from all your favorite CNBC shows. Be sure to subscribe by clicking right here. Click on the videos around me and watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.